with West Palm Dawn, and today with Chewy, we're going to be working on the leave it command. So what I do is I take a piece of food and I put it in my right hand and I show it to him. If he leaves it alone, no way. Yes, as soon as he leaves it alone, he gets a treat. Good boy, Chewy. Come on, man. Now I'll go ahead and again, but this time I'm actually going to say the command. Oh, did I give you too big of a piece? Yep, I did. There we go. So now what I'll do is I'll show an open palm to him, say Chewy, leave it. And if he leaves it alone, he gets a treat. Yes. Again, Chewy, leave it. <laughs> yes, there we go. And then finally, food on the floor. I cover it with my hand if he goes for it. I show it to him, I say, leave it. And if he leaves it alone, he gets a treat. Leave it. Yes. Very good, buddy. And if I need to, at the end, <coughs> Could you give him the treat. There we go, what a good boy. So this is really important that we train him on the concept of leave it, basically disengaging from something of interest to him because we really want to reinforce what's called impulse control. So he doesn't automatically think that every thought that comes into his head needs to be acted on. Good job, little guy. So we begin with food, and then we can move on to other things like leaves, lizards, or frogs, anything like that, toys. Help him understand that when we say leave it, it means leave it alone. Right, little man? Right, 